What is up? It's the Flirty here on Destiny with every trophy in the game. What does that mean? It means I got a lot of stuff. I always say that. I do have a lot of stuff. But what am I going to be doing to make more room for more stuff? I'm going to be destroying a lot of stuff. Specifically, a lot of those raid weapons that keep coming off the moon. They keep coming off the moon a lot. And I'm going to get rid of a whole bunch right now. And if you have never destroyed a raid weapon, well, I'm going to go over what they do. Because maybe you don't have it yet. Or maybe... You you don't know what happens if you do, if maybe you get your first one, but you haven't destroyed one yet. So, it's going to be actually a big surprise. I have a lot to go through. Not really. Just a few. But anyway, the first one's going to be the Oversaw Edict. This weapon is broken. I'm going to say it because it is. It shoots so fast, it might as well be an automatic. Seriously. This weapon can be fired full auto, making it broken already. And then, the other thing is, it has Red Dot. Red Dot again. Full auto, there it is. First I'm going to give you full auto. Just take it to the crew and start wiping people down with it. Maximum ammo capacity, fetus stock, dark breaker, that will penetrate through hive night walls of darkness, upgrade, and then we got hive disruptor, it's like, this thing is straight up broken, but, gotta get rid of it, cause I need room, so this is the first one right here, here it goes, boom, simply radiant energy, the next one is the word of crota, maybe you've been hit by it, maybe you don't have it yet, maybe you're trying to get it, it's okay, for legendary hand cannon it is okay there was a life and he spoke unto it and it was silent and lived no more so this thing shoots void damage doesn't really take that long course it's going to give out radiant energy right then and there and fast draw is standard sight a light design a sure shot there it is zen movement causing damage with the weapon increases stability it actually does by a lot a great damage speed reload Hammer Forge, really nice. Give some more of that range. Explosive rounds. I like using explosive rounds because they're so annoying. People hit me with them. I don't like being hit with, hit with them. But they just explode. Phantom Gift. For after learning three precision shots, returns one round back to his magazine. That is pretty cool. Of course, Hive Disruptor and a whole lot of upgrade damage. Yes, these things are, like I said, they're okay for Legendary. Not bad. Could you get you get a choice between Hammer Forge and Explosive Rounds. And I think that's uh, I think that's actually kind of cool. And you have 12, uh, 12 rounds in the magazine. So here goes this one, and to show you that you can keep getting the same drop over and over because they're they uh, they don't change. They don't. Look at this fast draw, sure shot. There it is. Zen movement, fast reload, hammer forge, explosive rounds, phantom gift, hive disruptor. Same thing. 12 rounds, and here goes another one. Now. I actually carry this around because I carry around because I need, as you know, you need legendaries to carry exotics and you need exotics to carry, you know how it is. So I, I have one right here. I've been working on it. It's honestly not bad. It's a really stable weapon. It sucks when you first get it. It, like, sucks. So if you haven't got it yet and you want to get it, tell me straight up, it sucks. Okay, here it is. Focus fire. You got red dots. Lots and lots of red dots. Focus fire. When zoom. This weapon fires slower, but causes additional damage. I think it's Cerro's right there. Hip fire. This weapon has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip. That's what I leave it in. Fire fast, whatever. Upgrade damage. Single point sling. Perfect balance. Pretty cool. More stability, so it doesn't bounce around. That's one of the really bad things about this weapon. When you first get it, it is bouncing around. It's not really that bad, though. What? When held, this weapon grants more agility. Then we got Lich Main. Projectors have a chance to disorientate. They really do. They By the time you get here... They really do. And that's pretty much the only real thing that you're actually going to use this thing for. Is to break shields real fast and disorientate the hive. And hive disruptor. Like, you know, that silly death singer. Those two witches that come out. And you had to go in there and she got a stupid, uh, what are the stupid shriekers on the ceiling? Disorientate the witch. Had someone sit next to you while your ice breaks them in the head or something. It's, it's a funny thing to watch. Upgrade damage, of course. And, yeah, just more black iron. Seems to be the, the pattern. Lot, you, yeah, you need lots and relic iron to upgrade hive weapons, you know, anything from the moon. But this thing is right here. Peace. And, of course, another word of crota. Like I said, these you're going to get the same thing. Fast draw, sure shot. Right over here, speed reload, hammer forward, explosive rounds, back with the phantom gift, hive disruptor, right there. And I do have a fully maxed out word of crota. I, I carry it around. You probably see it probably see it on raves a lot because i'll just be blasting nice in the head all the time anyway word of credit destroyed boom another one now the next one i'm going to be moving down to because i have the sword breaker 
I, I just... I, I get hit by it so much in the crucible, I just finally decided to upgrade one, and you should watch the video. I took it to the Nightfall by myself. I was all alone. But I did a little review on it, just for you guys. And it's just a really good shotgun, that's all I want to say about it. Phil Choke, Ekrite Ballistic, Grenader, upgrade damage, Flared, Magwell, Hammer Forge, give us some more of that range. Final round in six, six rounds, not bad. Hive Disruptor, more damage to Hive, upgrade damage. And it's um, like these are all just the legendary, so they upgrade really fast. And this, I, I recommend, like, if you don't have this raid, just keep raiding until you get this. This is this is worth it right here. This is this is stupid. This shotgun, <laughs> this shotgun is really powerful, really powerful for a legendary shotgun. So here it goes because I have an upgraded one right here, and I'm going to get rid of this one right here. If you're going to face Nanny Knight with an Ascendant Blade, bring an Ascendant Gun. That's awesome. Boom. And there it goes. Now, I'm not going to be destroying my Light of the Abyss. If not, I hadn't won, and I did actually destroy it, but it is what it is. Okay, the next one that I hear a lot of people saying they want to get, right here. Hunger of Crota. Would you defy me? I am the Eater of Hope. It's just stock. The stats are not bad. They're actually pretty even. They're up there a little bit. At least your velocity is up a little bit. That way, no one's running past your rock and grabbing it and throwing it back at you. And enemies can't really get out of the way. Shells, if you've never seen this rocket, rocket a lot of, a lot of you are trying to get this. And it's not bad. I, I use it. I use it all the time. I use it to break, break shields all the time. Or I take it to the Crucible. I don't like taking weapons like this to the Crucible. There's no horseshoes and grenades or anything like that. It's still fun. Because you just hear the explosion going off. And you're just like, yeah, that's awesome. Linear Compensator. Aggressive Launch. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Tracking, that's what it's all about. Because a lot of you new guys don't have tracking. This actually does have tracking. Great. Go get it. It drops. This is like my third or fourth one destroying. Quick draw. It can be drawn unbelievably fast. You know, rocket launch, take a second. Javelin. More velocity. So there it is. Get more velocity. Or you can get heavy pay payload. More blast radius. But why that when you have cluster bombs? Rockets create cluster bombs. And they detonate. And so you don't really need Blast Radius, you need more Javelin so you can get this thing in their face faster. And then of course you have Hive Disrupt, you have a Rocket Launcher and increase damage to Hive. That's really cool. Upgrade damage, upgrade damage, upgrade damage, upgrade damage. This one is on Spin Metal, and I just said Iron, I like Iron, this one actually on Spin Metal. Which is kind of crazy, but more Radiant Energy of course. And yeah, here it goes, destroying another weapon. Boom. Let me see. Do I have... I think that is... I think that is it. Yeah, I think that is it. I think I destroyed... Just about... I think I destroyed them all. Anyway, guys, that is it. I'm gonna go right... Run right over here double check the mailbox. Your name. Nothing in here. Nothing in here but stupidness. So anyway, guys, that is it. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see whatever I destroy next... Or simply what I'm currently upgrading, because I do like to take what I'm upgrading. Usually what I'm upgrading, I haven't really used it that much in the Crucible, but I've used a lot out in the uh, PvE areas. And I usually get cleaned out pretty quick, because I have a steady KD. But, yeah, if you guys want to see that, <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.